Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, time of day tariff, that is TOD tariff, was recently seen in the news. It is associated with which of the following acts or rules? Electricity Rights of Consumers Rule 2020, Odisha Electricity Duty Act 1961, the Electricity Supply Act 1948 or Indian Electricity Act 1910. The correct answer is option A, Electricity Rights of Consumers Rule 2020. Recently, the Government of India has introduced two changes to the prevailing power tariff system through an amendment to the Electricity Rights of Consumers Rules 2020. The changes are introduction of time of day tariff and rationalization of smart metering provisions. Under the TOD tariff system, tariff during solar hours of the day shall be 10% to 20% less than the normal tariff, while the tariff during peak hours will be 10 to 20 percent higher. TOD tariff would be applicable for commercial and industrial consumers having maximum demand of 10 kilowatts and above from 1st April 2024 and for all other consumers except agricultural consumers latest from 1st April 2025. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, Consider the following statements regarding State Election Commission. 1. It consists of a State Election Commissioner to be appointed by the Governor. 2. The Article 243K1 states that the tenure and appointment of State Election Commissioner will be directed as per the law made by the State Legislature. 3. The Article 243K2 states that the Superintendent's direction and control of the preparation of electoral rolls of all elections to the Panchayats shall be vested in State Election Commission. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option A, only one. Recently, there is a controversy in West Bengal in the matter of deployment of central paramilitary forces ahead of the Panchayat elections held by State Election Commission. State Election Commission consisting of a State Election Commissioner to be appointed by the Governor. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The Article 243K1 states that the superintendent's direction and control of the preparation of electoral rolls for and the conduct of all elections to the panchayats, municipalities under Article 243ZA shall be vested in a state election commission. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. The Article 243K2 states that the tenure and appointment will be directed as per the law made by the state legislature. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, recently the term hematopoietic stem cell transplantations was in the news. It is related to a type of cancer, treatment using stem cells from umbilical cord, category of kidney dysfunction or type of liver transplantation. The correct answer is option B, treatment using stem cells from umbilical cord. Recently, the term hematopoietic stem cell transplantations was in the news with the connection of umbilical cord blood banking. HSCT refers to the transplantation of stem cells from various sources, bone marrow, growth factor stimulated peripheral blood and umbilical cord blood. It can be used in the treatment of certain blood immune and metabolic disorders. Umbilical cord blood is a rich source of stem cells that can potentially develop into different types of cells and be used via a transplant. It requires certain markers to match between the cord blood and the patient to work. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the lab-grown diamonds. One, two most common technologies used in production of LGDs are chemical vapor deposition and high pressure, high temperature. Two, India accounts for 15% of the global production of LGDs. Three, LGDs quality can be hallmarked as four Cs cut, color, carrot and clarity. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, this gemstone was gifted to US First Lady by Indian PM on his visit to US. Two most common technological methods used to produce LGDs are chemical vapor deposition, high pressure, high temperature using a chemical composition. Hence, statement 1 is correct. India is the largest player in growing of chemical vapor deposition lab-grown diamonds. According to the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, India already produces around 3 million, that is 30 lakh LGDs a year, accounting for 15% of the global production. Hence, statement 2 is correct. It bears the hallmarks of excellence through the four C's, cut, color, carrot and clarity. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding Joha rice. 
One, it is primarily cultivated in Kerala. Two, it was given GI tag in year 2017. Three, it is known for its significant aroma. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option B, only two. Recently, scientists at the Institute of Advanced Study in Science and Technology explored the nutraceutical properties of aromatic Joha rice. Joha rice is an aromatic variety of rice cultivated in the primarily in Assam. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. In 2017, Joha rice was given the GI tag. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Joha is a short grain winter paddy known for its significant aroma and noteworthy taste. Hence, statement 3 is correct. It is effective in lowering the blood glucose and preventing diabetes onset and hence is an effective nutraceutical of choice in diabetes management. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission. 1. NCDRC is a quasi-judicial commission. 2. It was set up in 1988 under the Consumer Protection Act of 1986. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission has cuff up a fine of 1.5 crore rupees for negligence and restoring to unethical practices on a Delhi hospital. The National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission India is a quasi-judicial commission. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It was set up in 1988 under the Consumer Protection Act of 1986. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The commission is headed by a sitting or a retired judge of the Honorable Supreme Court of India or a sitting or a retired Chief Justice of an Honorable High Court. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Rani Durgavati. 1. She was a descendant of the famous Chandelas known for building the Khajuraho temples. 2. She was queen of the Gond kingdom of the Garha Katanga. 3. She died fighting a battle with Asaf Khan, a Mughal governor, on 24th June 1564. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, Rani Durgavati Gaurav Yatra was organized in Madhya Pradesh that will be concluded by Prime Minister. She was born on October 5, 1524 in Kalinjar, a fortified city in Uttar Pradesh. She was a descendant of the renowned Chandelas known for building the Khajuraho temples. Hence, statement 1 is correct. She was married to Dalpat Shah, of son of Garha Katanga's king. After the death of his husband in 1548, she took the responsibilities of queen. Hence, statement 2 is correct. She stabbed herself in her heart on the 24th of June 1564 while fighting a battle led by Asaf Khan, a Mughal governor. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Ocean Ring of Yoga. 1. The event is planned by Ministry of Ayush. 2. Indian Navy ships have sailed as ambassadors of yoga. 3. Ports of Bangladesh, Egypt, Maldives, Kenya, Thailand and UAE are to be covered. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only 1, only 2, all 3 or none. The correct answer is option B, only two. Recently, the Ministry of Ayush and Ministry of Defense in coordination with other ministries have planned an event called Ocean Ring of Yoga to commemorate International Day of Yoga 23. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Approximately 3,500 naval personnel on 19 Indian naval ships have traveled over 35,000 km as ambassadors of yoga. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The yoga sessions are conducted at foreign ports to promote a healthy lifestyle. Indian Navy ships were to visit ports in Bangladesh, Egypt, Indonesia, Kenya, Madagascar, Oman, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and UAE. Maldives is not included. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Sahitya Akadmi Awards. 1. Suryanath Singh received the Bal Sahitya Puraskar in Hindi. 2. Sudha Murthy won the Bal Sahitya Puraskar for her collection of stories, Grandparents' Bag of Stories. 3. Atul Kumar Rai received the Yuva Puraskar for his novel Chand Purki Chanda. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, Sahitya Akadmi has announced the recipients of Bal Sahitya Puraskar and Yuva Puraskar for this year. Suryanath Singh received the Bal Sahitya Puraskar in Hindi for his collection of short stories, Kotuk App. 
Hence, statement one is correct. Vishakha Vishwanath received the Yuva Puraskar in Marathi for Swatahala Swatavirud Ubhe Kartana. Sudha Murthy, a renowned children's author, won the Bal Sahitya Puraskar for her collection of stories, Grandparents' Bag of Stories. Hence, statement two is correct. Atul Kumar Rai received the Yuva Puraskar for his novel Chand Purki Chanda. Hence, statement three is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is recently an event named High Tech Handshake event was in the news. What was its theme? AI for all and manufacturing for mankind, manufacturing of AI, AI and mankind or role of AI for mankind. The correct answer is option A, AI for all and manufacturing for mankind. Recently, India-US High Tech Handshake event was organized at the White House in Washington, D.C. The theme of the forum was on AI for all and manufacturing for mankind. The discussions were held on the role and potential of the India-US technology partnership in driving the adoption of an AI-enabled inclusive economy. The CEOs aim to leverage India's talented workforce and advancements in digital public infrastructure. They seek to build global collaborations by exploring existing linkages between the two tech ecosystems. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Last question is consider the following peers. Highest civilian award and country. 1. King Abdul Aziz Sash, Saudi Arab. 2. Amir Amanullah Khan Award, Afghanistan. 3. Order of Zayed, Bhutan. How many of the pairs given above are correctly matched? Only one pair, only two pairs, all three pairs or none? The correct answer is option B, only two pairs. Recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi received the Order of the Nile Award, the country's highest state honor of Egypt. King Abdulaziz Sash is Saudi Arab's highest civilian honor. The award is named after Abdulaziz Al Saud, the founder of the modern Saudi state. Hence, pair one is correctly matched. Amir Amanullah Khan Award is Afghanistan's highest civilian honor. Hence, pair two is correctly matched. Order of Zayed is UAE's highest civilian award. Hence, pairs three is not correctly matched. Bhutan's highest civilian award is Nagadak Pale Gi Khorlo or the Order of the Drug Gyalpo. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding authorized economic operators. 1. It is a program under the AGs of World Customs Organization. 2. It aims to enhance international supply chain security. 3. It is a voluntary compliance program. How many of the statements given above is or are correctly matched? Only one, only two, all three or none. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.